guys. Okay. <laughs> I have been asked several times about doing a grocery haul. And it's really hard for me to do a grocery haul because I, I really don't do grocery hauls. And when I say that, this is what I, I mean. I buy by bulk and buying by bulk I put a lot, of, I don't hardly buy any like canned goods or anything from the stores because I can my own. I put my own vegetables and, you know, just anything that would pertain to your staples in your, in your pantry. I don't buy cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup. I make my own. It's just, I just don't carry that kind of stuff. I just, I make my own. So, um... Most of my stuff I, is homemade, canned, preserved. We do our own meat. And because I buy by bulk online and I have it shipped straight to my door, I just don't spend a lot of time in the grocery store. But every once in a while, like this weekend, I needed to. And, you know, it was kind of fun because I hadn't been in a while. But... Also, I live about 35, 40 minutes to the closest big grocery store. So it's just not something you do a lot. But I just want to share it with you because I've had, um, I've had some requests, you know, on grocery hauls. Of course, mine would be boring. So I just never did do it for the fact that I don't do grocery hauls very often, too. So, Miss Adele, my soul sister from Australia, this this video is for you so we're going to start down here now this i was excited with because they this bread the uh it's got today's date on it and i know that probably by tomorrow it's going to be even cheaper probably half of what it is today but i won't be in town tomorrow but there is all kinds of bread here that they put on sale and i I looked through it and uh, found the ones that I knew that I would be using. Like this is your French bread. And I mean, I can use this for uh, French toast, just anything. This right here has already got the herbs and the garlic on it. And this is the same way. It's garlic and herb topped bread. And this one's got different herbs and stuff on it. I mean, most of them, like this loaf right here, it's got sesame seeds. It's just a, a French bread with sesame seeds on it. It was 67 cents. So what I'll do with all this bread, I'll take them out of the wrapper that they're in, and uh, I'll wrap them real good and put them in the freezer. Because all this bread is going to last me a long time in the freezer. And this right back here was uh, wheat uh, sub rolls, and they were two dollars. And uh, I'll separate these out too, and put them in the freezer. And me and Mr. Brown, I mean, this right here lasts us a couple months. I'll just take out what I need out of the freezer. So all this bread was on sale, and so I just loaded up on it and put it in the freezer. Like I said, it'll last us a good while. Even when the kids come over and eat. Like tomorrow, for instance. Today's Allison's birthday, my youngest daughter. And tomorrow, I'm going to make her chicken alfredo and uh, a big salad. And I'm going to make her Mountain Dew cakes. That's her favorite. And uh, I'll use a couple of these because I'll have several here. And I'll use cut up a couple of these and we'll eat, have some bread with the chicken alfredo. I buy this bread right here from Mr. Brown. And I'll tell you what I do when I buy this bread like this is I will half it and I'll put some in the freezer. So it's more or less going to be like half loaf for me and him. Because we don't eat a whole lot of bread during the week. But when we do, I want him to eat this. He likes this bread and it's hard for me to get him to eat wheat bread. So this is what I buy for him. And uh, I'll put some of it in the freezer, and it'll last us a while. Now, I usually buy my organic uh, apple cider vinegar online. But I seen this at Walmart today. It's raw and filtered with the mother. 
and it was not real expensive either. So I'm going to try it. I like the kind that I order online, but I thought I'd try this. I've got the 8 o'clock coffee. That's Mr. Brown's favorite coffee. He takes this to work, and uh, he has a coffee pot there at work. And then I've got, I'm going to make a big salad tomorrow, and I found this uh, organic romaine lettuce, which is my favorite. I love romaine lettuce. I even like putting it on sandwiches and hamburgers. And Mr. Brown was out of crackers. And uh, I usually buy the individual pack that they had come out with so that we don't waste any. But they didn't have any. And he likes this brand right here. So I got him a box of crackers. And I always keep honey-made graham crackers. Not for just the grandkids, but me and Mr. Brown, every once in a while, we'll get some and we'll put them in a glass of milk and eat them like cereal. Because I don't buy cereal. And uh, we just love graham crackers. And, of course, I need a little bit of mayonnaise. We don't eat a lot of mayonnaise, but when I do get it for a reason, Duke's is my favorite. So that's what I bought. I've got the, I had to get some Parmesan cheese. And this is. And uh, for making up Fredo. Of course, I needed some Colby and Jack because I've got a couple recipes I'll be making this week that I need to. Well, I, need, I was just going to get Colby and just Monterey Jack, but it was cheaper doing it this way. So I got that. Of course, Mr. Brown loves liver cheese. He doesn't eat a lot of processed lunch meat or anything like that. But every once in a while, he likes liver cheese and crackers for his lunch. So I broke down and got that for him. And there's a couple of things we're going to have this week for uh, supper. And I plan on making a huge pot of chili out of deer meat. And we love chili dogs with coleslaw. So this will be easy for me to get in there and grab some and make some coleslaw out of and I, I buy these uh, little ham slices. This is really good ham. And it's not too bad priced either. This little... It's $4.33. And this is going to make Mr. Brown several breakfast sandwiches. Because I'll make him some biscuits. Fry up some of his ham and an egg. And uh, he can take a couple of them for his breakfast in the mornings. Now, the one thing I was disappointed is they didn't have the big bag of the rice cauliflower. So I had to get these two little ones. And I'm going to be making a dish that I'm going to make a video on. It's a low-carb uh, cauliflower chili. It's a Mexican dish. I forget the name of it now. But anyways, it used rice cauliflower and chilies and stuff like that. I'm going to do a video on it. It'll be good. I bought another big bag of mixed vegetables because I'm going to can up some more soup for Mr. Brown for his lunches. I've got some deer meat in the freezer that needs to be cooked. So that'll be good for him to have going on into the winter for his lunches at work. Be a soup made with a fresh deer meat. And let's see. I, got some, I had to get some milk. And uh, I really like the Great Value Organic, but, and we drink whole milk here because I know we won't be going to the Mennonites for a while to get raw milk. It'll be a while before we make it over there. So, and I, got, I had to get butter. I was out of butter. My half and half, I usually, I don't keep much of it because I have a, if I cook with any kind of milk. I have powdered milk and stuff like that that I use to cook with. I don't use my organic milk to cook with. We drink this. And then of course, Mr. Brown cannot do without his creamer. And that's his favorite. I've tried different kinds and he don't, that's his favorite right there. They had these uh, Bolt House Farms uh, baby cut carrots on sale. So, I got two bags of them, and I think I'm going to can up some more glazed carrots this week, because they were a good price. 
They were $2 a bag. And that's a real good price for these carrots. And these are really good carrots. The fettuccine, I bought three, I had to get three small boxes of these because they didn't have a big box. And they were a dollar a box. So for me to make enough Alfredo tomorrow, I had to get three boxes to make sure I had enough for everybody. And this this organic milk's not too bad price. It's three eighty eight. But this is the thing. I can go to the Mennonites where I buy my raw milk and it's three dollars for a whole gallon. <laughs> and it's it's the best milk. It'll have cream. The cream on this milk is unreal how thick it is. And of course I take most of the cream off the top and we'll make butter and stuff out of it. But we'll leave just enough cream in that raw milk and mix it up with the milk and drink it. And I know it's fattening, but I'm telling y'all, there's nothing any better for you. I don't care what anybody says. I get these for the grandkids. This, uh, I'm going to make, like I said, Allison, it's her birthday, so I'm going to make her a Mountain Dew cake. And one of the things that the recipe calls for is a, a lemon cake mix. And some of them call for orange cake mix, but I think she likes the lemon better. So I had to get... One of those, of course, Duncan Hines is my favorite brand. That's for the grandkids. And for the uh, this low-carb uh, rice cauliflower casserole I'm going to make, it called for green chilies, and I was out of green chilies. And uh, I usually buy a cheaper brand, but the other brands were either medium or, or hot. And this was the only ones I found that was mild. And, of course, me and Mr. Brown are kind of wusses when it comes to hot stuff. So I had to pay about, oh, probably about 15 more cents a can. But, you know, it'll be okay. It's not going to break me. And any time I go into Walmart, I always go ahead and, and I always get a, go ahead and get me some lids, cannon lids. I always do that so that I always, I just throw them in there with my others. They had these apples right here. And they're from Michigan. They're called uh, Paula Red. Anyways, they were 98 cents. And they look, they were really pretty. They look like your regular uh, homegrown little apples. And usually they are the sweetest. And they smell really sweet. But at 98 cents, I went ahead and got a bag because I've got some pork I'm going to cook this week. And, uh, we love fried apples with pork, and I'll probably cut some up and uh, either make some little bit of apple butter or apple pie or something out of them. But I'll do something with them at that price. And back here, I had to break down, and I had to buy a big bag of chicken breast. Now, I have not bought chicken from the store in a long, long time. Probably a year or so, I don't remember, because my son raises our own pastured chickens, and I've got some still in the freezer, but I'm making this chicken alfredo for everybody. It's going to take a lot of chicken breast, so I'm not, as much as I love my kids, I'm not going to use all my good chicken up for this, so I got me a bag of chicken breast, and uh, that's about it for my grocery haul today. I didn't really need a whole lot, but needed some things for what was going on this week. But I was really excited about the bread. We won't have to get bread for a while. I will probably take, like, these two loaves here, the French, the Italian loaf, and I'll probably, at least one of them, I'll cut, I'll cut it up and make homemade croutons out of it. And the kids love the homemade croutons. When I make a salad, if they come over on Sunday and I've got a salad, they always want homemade croutons and my homemade ranch dressing. So that's probably what they'll get tomorrow, too, with chicken alfredo. So for 75 cents, I'll get a bunch of homemade croutons. I'll fill my jar up with it. And, of course, putting this out in the freezer, if I decide to make more croutons later, I can, I can do that with that one, too. So there's always a lot you can do with this bread, especially when it's on sale like that. Now this is what I'll do with uh, Mr. Brown's honey wheat bread that he likes to eat. I go ahead and I buy several loaves. Now this, 
You'll never find this bread on sale hardly ever. The nature's own. Around here you won't. But it's good bread. He likes it and it's better for him than the regular white bread. And I like it too. So I just, each loaf, I just kind of, you know, half the loaves and then I put it in the freezer wrap and wrap it up good. And then I'll put them in the freezer. Because a whole loaf Usually by the time we get down to the end of the loaf, it uh, has already gone stale most of the time, not all the time. So I'd rather do it like this and just put it in smaller loaves and freeze it and then take it out as we need it. So freezing bread is a good thing and uh, when it gets cooler weather, of course I'll be baking my own bread and putting it in the freezer too. But it's just too hot to be oven on right now. I can use that as an excuse not having to make bread, but I love to make bread, so it's not that big a deal. But anyways, that's a good way to, when you don't and cannot get to the grocery store every week, you have to do things like this. So it's a good thing. raise our own eggs and chickens so that's just one more thing that I don't have to worry about running out of and our chickens as long as we've had chickens they're cinnamon queens we get eggs even during the winter time even when they're molting really bad we still we've got 20 21 hens I think 20 or 21 hens and one rooster and uh Every day we have eggs, even in the winter time, when the days are short, you still got a few that are still laying eggs. So, and I know there's some other really good uh, laying hens out there too. But cinnamon queens up here have always done good for us. So, eggs is just one thing we don't have to worry about, and you can do so much with eggs; they're good for you. Look, guys, I broke down. <laughs> this is probably why I don't need to go in Walmart no more than I do. I broke down and bought me a little compost bin here to keep by my sink because I compost something every single day and uh, it's really cute too. I like the colors. It's got the little handle and it's also got the filter, whoops, the filter on the inside of the, the lid with the holes on top to keep the smell out. But my biggest issue, I usually just, I've got a little bucket down here in the floor and I just throw my compost stuff in it every day well the bucket's looking pretty rough and uh, the gnats are bad so I thought Lori you gotta do something different but I did I spent a little money on myself and bought me a little compost bin and this right here is another thing that I do this this is Dawn I have tried in the past to make my own uh, dishwashing detergent and I've done all different kinds of recipes on dishwashing detergent, and they're all good. I have nothing bad to say about them. But I find myself constantly coming back to my Dawn. And I buy it in the gallons, and I buy it online from Amazon. And I'll show you the reason why I like this Dawn so much that I buy. Okay, this is the Dawn that I buy from Amazon. And I'm pretty sure it comes from Sam's Club, because that when it come in... The box, the box was from Sam's Club. This is what, I worked in the school cafeteria for many years, and I have washed a lot of pots and pans, and this is what they use, and it's some of the best. So I just find myself, all, it's professional use Dawn detergent, and I keep it, I pour it all in. Of course, I had to put Dawn on it to keep my kids and grandkids coming in thinking it's some kind of a drink, so they wouldn't. <laughs> but it sits right here by my sink, and I just fill my sink up with water, and I just turn the little nozzle on, and uh, that's it. And this this thing will last me forever. Even though I wash a lot of dishes, it does. I'm not constantly buying detergent, and I just, I like my Dawn. I can't stay away from it, so... It's a good buy, and like I said, I'll get it off Amazon. 
Well, guys, that's pretty much my little grocery haul for today. Um, that's just a little tidbit of, you know, how we do things here on our homestead and how, you know, we grew up not running to the store every week or even every two weeks sometimes. A lot of times it was just a month at a time. So it's just what we're used to and what you're used to. But we have plenty here. Sometimes I think, well, I don't think I know how blessed we are, how blessed so many people are to have so much. And I thank God every day for the blessings He's given, given us. We have food on the table. We have the capability of putting food on the table. We have clothes on our back. We have a roof over our head. And, you know, He's provided these things for us. They're such a blessing. Because so many people out there are struggling. So many people don't have food on the table every night. There's little babies going hungry. Not everybody has a roof over their head. And as far as clothes on our back, I don't have high dollar clothes. I don't have name brand clothes. I just have enough to keep me from being naked pretty much. So with all that being said, if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, maybe I'll do some more grocery haul or pantry videos. I just kind of done this in the spur of a moment. But anyways, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. And God bless everybody. Come to our homestead gathering in Pocahontas, Arkansas at Old Davidsonville Park on the 28th of September. It starts at 11 o'clock. I'll leave a link below about the park where the meeting is going to take place. There's going to be a lot of food and a lot of great people there. So come out if you can.